What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at a future stars card and it is going to be Zobba Slide to review today. Now I picked him up for 685,000 coins. So he's going for a decent amount, but it looks like he is actually going to be worth it. He's got 93 pace, 93 dribbling, 89 shooting, 89 passing with the 78 physicals to his game as well and if we are comparing this card to his hero card we are looking at a plus 7 to pace a plus 9 to shooting a plus 7 to passing a plus 9 to dribbling a plus 5 to defending and a plus 7 to physicals as well he is a six foot one player with medium low work rates four star skill moves and a four star weak foot now those medium low work rates could be a little bit of an issue when you're playing this guy in like a left mid position or a right mid position it could he could be very very lazy when obviously making those runs in behind but if we are talking about playing this guy in like a cam position he should be insane now the chem style i've gone for is the finisher chem style the reason i've gone for a finisher chem style and not the hawk chem style which is the other option you could actually go for is simply because of that dribbling you have to understand this guy is six foot one he is six foot one and yes his dribbling stats do look very very good for a six foot one player but i need to make sure if i'm playing him in that cam position to make him as agile as possible and to make him turn as fast as possible so the finisher chem style is going to give him that plus 10 agility give him that plus five balance and that plus four dribbling to max it out and it also gives him the finishing stats which he kind of needs but i kind of doesn't at the same time either way he's got 90 acceleration and 95 sprint speed insanely fast player he's got 90 attacking positioning 99 finishing 99 shot power 94 long shots 99 volleys with the 90 penalties to his game as well has he got any shooting traits he does have the outside foot shot trait and as far as i know i was about to say as far as i know that's literally it he has not got the finish shot trait it is what it is the passing ability though this is why i feel like this guy is a cam because there's no way a winger has these kind of passing stats. 87 vision, 87 crossing, 99 freaky accuracy, 88 short passing, 90 long passing with the 99 curve as well. And if we are looking at the dribbling stats, they're insane. 99 agility, 91 balance, 87 reactions, 95 ball control, 99 dribbling with the 90 composure. And the physical stats are even good as well. He's got 85 stamina for a cam. That might be a little bit of an issue, but I feel like it's going to be okay to last for the whole 90 minutes. It depends on how much you actually use him. He's got 84 strength, 89 jumping with the 49 aggression to his game as well. Obviously, the aggression not being insane, but it's something you are going to have to deal with. Now, when it comes down the links, he's from the Bundesliga. He comes from Leipzig. I've obviously got your boy Sabitzer in there, which, yeah, interesting card. Very interesting. Either way, I've also got the likes of Aguero, Grealish, Allen, and your boy Mahrez in this team as well. I will be using Zoba Slai in a 4-4-2 in that striker position because I do want to get a few goals with this guy as well. In a 4-2-3-1 in that cam position. And I will obviously try him down the line as well in a 4-2-3-1. But let's get into the games. So the first thing we are going to do is actually see how he feels on the ball. He should feel good on the ball saying I have gave him that finisher chem style. And he does. Look at that. That's nice. For a 6 for one player as well. You can see by his body type, you know, it's not the greatest, I must admit. For like, let's say dribbling. But he feels good. R1 dribbling. Go for that a little bit. Go for that a little bit. Going to cancel that. R1 dribbling. Hill to hill. Go for that power shot. It was hit with a lot of power. But we couldn't get the goal. Gonna go for that through ball there. Ball roll into the inside. That's a really nice ball roll by Grealish. Gonna go for that running face shot. Gonna keep going. He's dribbling there. Seemed quite questionable, but we are gonna get the finish. I'm not sure why his touch while running was so like wide. He should have just gone in a straight line to be fair to him. But he's done really well to go for that burst spin, obviously to get the angle. And it was it was a really good finish with a lot of shot power, and it was straight into the corner. So Basilai. Going to go for that turn right there. Going to ping that ball straight through the middle with that four-star weak foot. And it is going to be perfect. He's made a good run right here. Going to go for that fake shot. Quick turn. Go for that finesse shot. No finesse shot trait. Just keep that in mind. No finesse shot trait at all. And is this guy going to rage quit? He is going to rage quit. It's kind of understandable. If I conceded a goal like that, especially at, you know, what? How, how many minutes was it in? 18 minutes in? I would say bye-bye as well. Over to Grealish. 
Going to RBA it straight into his feet, hoping for a quick one-two. I must admit, he's movement in that striker position. It's kind of lazy time to time. I haven't really seen him make too many runs in behind, which is obviously questionable because I want him to get in behind. I want to make sure he uses that pace to his full potential because he is a player that can obviously outpace the Varans, the Furlan Mendes with, you know, with the acceleration and that sprint speed. But he's a player right now that's kind of coming short a lot, which is understandable because of those medium-low work rates. Greedish, gonna go for that R1 turn, good turn, gonna go for that little bridge into the open space, look at that acceleration boys, fake shot, pass to Aguero, take an extra touch and we are not gonna get a finish, he's paced down that line right now, my god it's good, give it to Zobosly, R1 dribbling, it's gonna be quite slow but at the same time quite fast, let me try to go for this real quick, luck I get to cancel, heel to heel, didn't really do the heel to heel but it doesn't really matter, Ronaldo chop turn, heel to heel then, Fake shot into the open space, four star weak foot finish and we are not going to get it into the back of the net. I'm telling you boys, he's dribbling time to time, is good, but then there's other occasions where I'm noticing there's these certain angles that they feel a bit like slow in a way. And it's just very weird because he has that agility, he has that dribbling to his game, it's just that body type that I feel like is kind of letting him down. So I am now playing him in that cam position, we are going to see his movement, he has came short right there. Nice little turn, let's run with him because we know we can run with him. Double ball roll in, hill to hill, or maybe not. Just give me the wide open angle, apparently. This guy didn't come towards me at all. It's like he gave up on the play. He saw that, he, you know, I did that double ball roll round his fullback, and he didn't even bother to switch to Ake, which I thought he was actually going to do. But I'll take the guaranteed goal, I guess. Sivitza, over to him. Nice little turn. Give it back to him there. Going to go for that power shot. You see what I mean about this guy's finishing ability? My god the shot power with the accuracy is absolutely incredible and i believe that's courtois in goal that's no any keeper you know that's courtois he should be diving for that but he knew for a fact he was not going to get anything onto it his movement by the way in that cam position is really nice because of those medium low work rates that pretty much doesn't make him an aggressive cam he's one of those cams that's going to give you those passing options but the thing is you want to have that balance in that cam position time to time you want to have him making runs like that making sure he gets in to the open space but also you want him to actually come short right here which he does that right there is honestly spot on he makes that run which is perfect lack of care to cancel power shot towards in the opposed and pope is gonna save it so it's actually pope it wasn't courtois interesting i'll be straight over to him i am enjoying him by the way way more in that cam position you can actually see him get involved in the play a little bit more and he actually used i think that's offside is it offside yeah, it is offside. You can actually see him using his passing ability to his full potential. While in a striker position, he didn't really make those runs in behind very consistently because of those medium low work rates. And it did kind of get annoying, especially with him just like kind of wandering around a little bit and him consistently coming short. So for me, right now, the cam position is definitely the way to go. Sivitza, going to give it to him here. Fake sure around the corner. Like a Keta, that's easy as. Can we get the finish? Wow, what a save. What a save from Pope. Nice interception by Sabitza. Going to go for that A pass into the middle. Going to try to turn. It took him a little while to actually go for that acceleration. But we eventually got it. Hopefully I can get this. Scoop turn. Power shot. No. I saw him slightly out of position. So I thought because he was slightly out of position, he wasn't going to get to that far, like far post shot. But apparently Nick Pope does what Nick Pope does best. You know, he just pulls out one that saves all of a sudden. Morris on the ball. Zobosly, going to go for a first time through ball all the way to the other side and look how perfect that is. Going to give it to Aguero, extra pass to Zobosly, going to go for that scoop turn, going to go for that heel to heel, going to go for that left cooker to cancel, can I get a finish? Kaylor Navas is actually going to put out a save. I should have took probably one extra touch there just to give him a better angle and not actually shoot at like a 180 angle. So I am playing him in that winger position now so we are going to see how he kind of moves there. Is he going to make a run there? He eventually does, but it did take him a decent amount of time. Going to go for that fake shot. Nice footwork. Really nice footwork. Keep going. Fake shot around the corner. The thing is, right, when playing him down the line, he's going to use that strength as well. So it's going to be really hard for players like Semedo and like Quadrado or even Team Media Trent to actually get the ball of this guy because he's most likely just going to get his body in the way of those kind of players because they have not got a lot of strength to their game. And they're just going to, you know, kind of allow them to get past. Through the middle. 
He's came short again. I'm going to give it to Aguero. Is he going to make the running behind? He doesn't. He makes like a diagonal run and he kind of goes into the position Aguero was. So yeah, playing him down the line is obviously a bit questionable. If you want to 100% play this guy in that winger position, you are going to have to learn how to actually tell him to make those runs manually. So like the LB button or the L1 button, depending if you're on Xbox or PS4. Like right there, it was open. It was literally wide open and he did not make the run into the open space, which is extremely questionable. Like obviously for me, medium low work rates you kind of expect that a little bit but with the high attacking positioning you're expecting him to make those runs in behind r1 turn well played like i care to cancel really nice turn like oh through the middle nah come on as you clearly can see we are playing against a guest so it is obviously a little bit harder when you have two players running straight at you it's a bit turn the ball he shouldn't make that running behind he is going to make that running behind well played Oh, I could have gone for an RBX towards a near post. We are going to get a corner. I should have gone for the RBX towards a near post. Mahrez was literally wide open. But should we go for a header? Saying that he is obviously six foot one, he can, or should, let's say, win this header. Okay, maybe not over Kempembe or someone like Varane, but he should change for the header at least. So it's going to be another good thing. The fact that he obviously is tall when you're playing him down the line. So you can obviously go for those little backstick headers. Like, you think he's not going to win a header over Quadrado? Come on now. So it is time to review him. Three games played, four goals scored of the zero assist as well. Now this card right here, I tried in three different positions. The left mid position, the cam position, and the striker position. I did enjoy him in the left mid, left mid position simply because of the pace. I felt like his pace was absolutely incredible. But I had to tell him to make those runs in behind way, way too often. And that's because of those medium low work rates. In the striker position, I felt like he's moving movement was good i just didn't feel like it was insane to the point where he was making those runs in behind once again because of those medium low work rates he was a player that came short way way too often but in the cam position that's when you saw his full potential really come out to play because the passing ability the dribbling ability the shooting the pace everything you can notice even the strength even the aggression aggression 49 you really didn't see it coming to play, to be fair. Either way, this guy right here, absolutely insane. Do I believe he is worth the 685k? Yes. Do I feel, believe his body type does affect his dribbling ability? I do feel like it does a little bit. I can't see this guy being that 99 agility, 99 dribbling player. I really don't. I felt like his dribbling was insane. It really was. But it was these certain angles that I felt like his body was not made to made to do, you know? Like, it would be like a 180 angle and I needed it to be quick. But because of his body type, he wouldn't turn fast enough. And that's when you just think to yourself that that body type is obviously going to affect his dribbling. Do I believe it's still worth putting the finished chem style? 100%. He's fast enough, boys. You don't need anything, any other chem style on this card. You really don't. If you want to go for a Hawk chem style, go ahead and do it. But for me, I feel like you'll benefit way more with that finished chem style. So rating wise, pace. I'm going to give his pace, I would honestly say, like a 9.3 to a 9.4 out of 10. Really impressive. Shooting ability. I love the fact that he could obviously shoot with both feet. I love the fact that every single time he shot, it was with a lot of shot power. And the majority was with a lot of accuracy as well. It was just that, you know, as I said, it was just that review where keepers wanted to pull out wonder saves all of a sudden. Pope was pulling out wonder saves. You have the other keeper, which I can't remember who it was, pulling out wonder saves. It was pretty much all over the place. Let's just say that. But for shooting, I'm still going to give it a really high rating. And it is going to be a 9.2 to a 9.3 out of 10. Passing ability, I felt like it was really impressive. Both feet pretty much worked every single time. As I said, for the past like three reviews, okay? Passing ability is there. But he's not as good as like a team of the year Bruno Fernandes, you know? So it comes down to that thing where you can't sit here and give him a 10 out of 10. Because there is going to be that slight pass time to time that's not actually going to make it. So for passing, I'm going to give him... Once again, I'm probably going to give him a 9.3 slash a 9.4 out of 10. So far, pretty good. Dribbling ability. This is where it's going to go a little bit lower. Because I, I don't feel like I can, you know, give this guy a 9.3 slash a 9.4 for dribbling. Because, as I said, that body type was the little bit of an issue at certain angles. If his body type was a better body type, a, a body type that's, you know, extremely good for dribbling, 
then I would sit here and honestly give this guy like a 9.8, 9.9 out of 10. But because his body type in certain angles was a bit awkward, I am going to lower it to like a 9.1 out of 10. Physicals, strength was incredible. It really was. I loved his strength. His strength was something that I really, really did enjoy. But I saw it come to play most down the line. Where he would obviously get him behind a quadrado. And he obviously shield him off for a little bit. The stamina was also enough to last for the whole 90 minutes. And that was me using him a decent amount as well. So that's always a good thing to note. And his jumping ability, he did win a few headers in that midfield. And that's always going to be a good thing for Cam. Because if you hoof him up the ball, so if you aka give him the ball up in the air, he will header it down to like a winger or to a striker. And he'll probably, you know, get him in behind instantly. So for physicals, I am going to give him... I'm not going to go overboard, but I am going to give him, I would say, like an 8.5 out 8.5, 8.6 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, I have to give him a high. I really do. He was an incredible card in that cam position. And I am going to give this card, I would say, like a 9.1 out of 10. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.